Welcome everyone to a new FIFA 22 tactics video on my channel. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with the Spanish club Real Madrid. All in my opinion of course at this moment in FIFA 22. I'm going to show you the best formation, lineup, tactics and instructions. But before I begin I really wanted to ask you to drop a like in the video if you appreciate this video. I'm trying to help you guys with this. So do me a bit of a favor, smash that like button so it will rank my videos higher on YouTube and help my channel a bit to grow. If you're new to the channel i want to find your way back really easy make sure you are subscribed with notifications on so you get a new message when i'm uploading a new video i'm doing lots of tactic videos for all different clubs and national teams and also some tutorial videos so if you're interested make sure you are subscribed all right let's start with the formation for real madrid it's the 4-2-2-2 formation the lineup courtois is the goalkeeper carvajal is the right defender Militao and Alaba are the centre-backs and Mendy is the left defender. Uh, Casimiro and Modric are the central defensive midfielders. Casimiro playing as the most defensive one and Modric as the most attacking one, of course. I'm using Valverde as the right attacking midfielder. Uh, Hazard as the left one. And we are playing with two strikers, Benzema and Vinicius Jr. Um, then we're going to the tactics. The defensive style is balanced with a width of 35 and a depth of 60. The builder play is balanced with chance creation on forward runs. Uh, the width is 60, plays in the box five, corners and free kicks. Doesn't matter for the tactics at all, but both do bars. Then the instructions, uh, stay back while attacking. Uh, Militao and Alaba are just default. Mendy, stay back while attacking. Uh, Casimiro playing as the most defensive midfielder with good passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover center. Modric playing as the most attacking one, good passing lanes, get forward, free roam, and cover wing is supposed to be on cover center. Um, Valverde, only thing I changed for him is free roam, the same for Hazard, free roam. Then we're going to Benzema, the only thing I changed for him is stay central, and then we have Vinicius Jr., the only thing I changed for him is get in behind. So this guy is making the runs, and yeah, he is super fast, of course. I think, yeah, he has 95 pace, so when he is making a run, try to give him a through ball to the air or on the ground. It doesn't matter that much, uh, uh, but yeah, he is so fast, you can create lovely one-on-one -on -one goalkeeper chances uh, when he is making a run and you give him a through ball. Then we have some lovely players on the bench, of course. I'm using Bale. Uh, most of the times after 60 or 70 minutes of playing, the same for this guy, Rodrigo. Uh, yeah, replacing these two guys for Valverde and Hazard. Sometimes I'm playing Valverde then as uh, a central midfielder uh, when Modric is too tired. So uh, Modric is coming off the field, Valverde is playing as central midfielder and then Rodrigo there on the right side and Bill on the left side. Um, yeah, that's it. You also have uh, Marcelo, of course. Uh, you can also play him as an attacking midfielder with the five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He can do an amazing job for you. So keep that in mind when you are uh, needed to do some substitutes. All right, that's it for Real Madrid. I hope when you try it out yourself that you will win with this, of course, because that's why I'm making this video. So I'm trying to help you guys win matches. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.